Good afternoon, this is Darnold from BMW of Ocala. I wanted to take a moment to show you the M4 that we have here in stock. It's a mineral white M4 with the competition package. So you got the uh, multi-spoke competition wheels. You have the black interior, the carbon fiber roof. The vehicle is pretty well equipped. It's, uh, it's equipped with the executive package, driver assistance plus package, uh, and the lighting package. You do have the uh, black kidney grills with the lighting package. You do get upgrade to the full LED lighting, so your daytime running lights are LED as well as your headlights, and they're adaptive. Um, so they'll help for cornering. Um, you also have the ability to have uh, automatic high beams, so once you activate your high beams, someone starts coming towards you, they'll actually uh, turn off on their own just so that you're not blinding the person that's in front of you. Uh, the M4 is a phenomenal vehicle. It's a standard. It comes with 425 horsepower. This one, being the competition package, has 19 more horsepower, so you have uh, 444 and 406 pounds for the torque. There's quite a few things a lot of people don't know about the M4. Um, go over really quick. One of which in 2016, they changed the rear lights to LEDs. With the competition, you get in the, uh, the black exhaust tips. And this, this is really cool. You have the carbon fiber roof here that has the, the grooves in it so for air to pass over the car and help keep you stable. But you also have it go into the trunk. Now the M3 doesn't share this because the, uh, for performance reasons, when they were testing the uh, M3 and the M4, the M3 actually stayed a little bit more stable. So they created um, the trunk using carbon fiber and then added these grooves to help with stability. With the executive packaging, you get the backup camera and parking sensors in the front and rear. Comfort access, keyless entry. Let's go take a look inside the vehicle. This one is a 2017, so there are some differences. I'd like to point out that you have uh, the M3 and M4, the first M vehicles to get their own special seats. You get the competition package. You get these new design seats. They're bucket seats. The one, one of the wonderful things about these seats is you have the one-touch operation. So if you need to get someone in the back of the car, you could always pull it forward, tap the button, and it goes forward all the way for you instead of you sitting there and leaning over to get someone in and out of the car. This being uh, 2017, you do have the newly redesigned iDrive system. Go into the setting. We have this new display. Looks a lot more crisp and a little bit more uh, elegant than the, the previous display that they had. We do have heated seats. The M4 comes with either a six speed manual transmission or the seven speed double clutch. The seven speed double clutch is probably the most popular out of the two uh, due to performance reasons. That's one of the only double clutches that has a reverse option that operates like a manual. So you'd actually have to, the center is neutral, you push it over to the left and up to put it in reverse. And then once you're back in the neutral, you put it over to the right to put it into drive and you push it over to the right again, <clears throat> the right again to put it into the manual setting. BMW does have one of the quickest double clutch transmissions out there, so it's pretty impressive. Uh, you have uh, almost 120 different driving settings, or just about 120 different driving settings, um, which sounds complicated, but BMW's made it real easy to operate. You have three different settings for your throttle response, three different settings 
for your suspension and three different settings for your steering. Then for the transmission, you have three different settings. Now, the reason this is important is because this is going to change the, the drivability of the car. So if you have it in the lowest setting, it's a very uh, smooth shift like you were driving a normal automatic, very soft and very comfortable. The mid setting is going to increase the speed of the shift, but it won't be too harsh. Uh, the third setting is going to really get you through the gears as quick as possible. You do have paddle shifters on the steering wheel. So you can keep your hands on the wheel. Now, the reason I said that BMW's made this real simple is you can actually customize these two buttons, the M1 and M2 button, uh, to program all of those settings how you want it to, how you want it to be. So you can adjust the the, the traction, the throttle response, the, the suspension, the steering, the shift patterns, and whether you want it to be in drive or in manual mode, but with just the push of a button. And with the driver assistance plus you get a few uh, additional options for safety other than the backup camera and parking sensors you do have your your blind spot detection your lane departure warning and your, your frontal collision warning and uh, all those features can be activated activated from these three buttons this car does have the rear power shade so your passengers don't have to have too much sunlight uh, coming in it helps a little bit you do have the Harman Kardon sound system which with the size of this vehicle and the way that it's designed, um, well, the way that it's insulated, the sound really, really resonates inside. It sounds perfect. The Harman Kardon was the perfect setup for this. Uh, you do have carbon fiber trim on the interior as a standard option. Occasionally people order something different, but the carbon fiber seems to be the most liked and, and kind of the perfect match for the interior on this car. Now, what's nice about the seats, what I didn't mention before, is when you actually unlock the car, they, this M logo here is actually going to light up in the M colors, which is, looks gorgeous at night. And you have the uh, M Performance mats added to this one, which are really nice to look at. The M4, like I said in the email, is definitely helped set the benchmark for its segment. Uh, it's a wonderful vehicle. Hopefully you liked the video and I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you.